Okay, so I just wanted to zoom to, because I know um, I've had a lot of questions about how to enroll distributors, people pushing for promotions, things like that. By the way, if you have any questions throughout any of this, put it in the chat so I can answer it or somebody can answer it. Um, but just talking about all of, everything about sounding distributors. We're going to talk about mindset, the action to put in, all, all the things, all the things. So, and I have some other leaders on here with me to answer some questions and give some tips too. So I'm just super excited because I feel like sounding distributors was, went from like in the beginning, one of my least favorite things. I was like, if I can just find customers every day, I would be good. Like if that could get me to, you know, ambassador diamond, I'm good. I can do that. But I hated sounding distributors. I hated it. And so um, now it's one of my favorite things, like one of my absolute favorite things. And so um, I'm going to teach y'all all, all of my tips. Um, I got some tips from other leaders too. Um, and then some of our leaders on our team are going to share their tips too. But um, I feel like the very, very, very most important thing about sounding distributors is your mindset. And if you're coming into this and you're watching this Zoom because you say, I can't sign distributors. That's why you can't sign distributors because your mind is not right. And that's going to get annoying. And if you're like me, when I first joined, I was like, quit talking about mindset. Like, just tell me exactly what I need to do and like the magic words I need to say and the magic work that I need to do and I'll go do it. But like, quit telling me that my mind is in the wrong place because like, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I thought too. So if you're in that spot, I feel you. It's a thing. I feel like it, you have to jump into that like self-development and mindset and once you own that and you understand that like your mind is in control of every single thing that you do every single thing that you do and so if you get that in the right place you will literally do everything that you said you cannot do all of the promotions all of the dts like everything um like i went from hating enrolling distributors to being like a mass enroller of distributors which you don't even have to be a mass enroller but it just proves how much your mind is in control and how much that guides where your work goes and where your enrollments go and what kind of action you're getting or what kind of success you're getting from it. And so if you're feeling discouraged, self-development, 100%, Jalen, some of you other guys, if you can post some like self-development ideas in the chat, some of your favorite things, YouTube videos, podcasts, books, um, Jalen's holding up Chase the Lion. <laughs> I told you it was good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's like orders 10 books a month. It's crazy. Um, but it's so insane too. Um, oh, by the way, like it doesn't just have to be reading books. It can be listening to books, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, like anything that's growing your mind and pouring into yourself because you're constantly pouring out energy all day long, working your business. You're hearing the word. No, you're hearing negative comments. You're hearing all those things. So if you're not pouring into yourself and having something pour into you, you're going to get, you're going to drain yourself out and you're going to feel like all this negative stuff is just hitting you and pounding you into the ground because you have nothing to build you back up. So that is why it's so, so, so important. Get out of your damn way is what Palin is holding up and live. Is it live or live? I don't know how she's supposed to say it, but she posted some. It is honestly, it's a long book and I read it in a day. I had to like try and stop myself from reading it because it is just so, 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 so freaking good. And then I have another one and it's called, um, um, it's called Fear is My Homeboy. And that one, like, that one hit me hard. So if you have, if you want to find that book, that's a really good one. I'm putting that in the chat real quick. Um, but yeah, you posted tons of like quotes from that in our chat and they were all so good. I was like, let me know what book that is. Cause that is so good. Um, but yeah, there's different ways of self-development, but make sure you're doing something, anything every single day. And I still, I love reading books. Like I love what I get from books, but I hate sitting down to read. Like I have too much like anxiety to where I'm like, I just want to put in action. I just want to like put in all the, <laughs> don't look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, um, I just want to like actually work. Like, I feel like if I'm reading, I'm like wasting time. Like that's how my brain works, but I have to literally force myself to do it like to this day. And I've been in the business for three years and I have to literally force myself to do it. Um, but you can listen to stuff too. Um, the other thing about mindset is like, 
you have to believe in this business before anybody else following you will believe in this business. If you don't even believe that this is what's going to help you pay for college, help you pay for rent, gas, groceries, um, get you out of debt, like all those things, if you don't believe that, then why should any of your followers believe that it's going to do that for them? You're paving the way for what your followers think about this business. So if you're not showing that belief that you have in this opportunity, that this opportunity is going to do all those things for you, then they're not going to believe that either. Um, I 100% believe that, well, for any of you who joined this business on our team, why did you join the business? Was it because I didn't post about those things? Or was that because I was posting about how this business was going to help me pay for college and cash? This business was going to help me um, buy our first house, you know, like all those things. You, you were probably looking at it thinking, oh my gosh. And for me, like when Kayla posted about the business, my thought process was, you know what, if she can make that much money, I can make a little bit. That's what I had. And so if you're pouring that belief into it, that someday you're going to be able to quit your job, that someday you're going to be able to pay off all your debt and be debt free, even though you have tons of student loans right now, someday you're going to be able to do all these things person that's following you might be like, oh, I can do those things too. Or they might be like me and be like, if they can do all of those things, maybe I can just pay for my rent. You know what I mean? So you have to believe in the business before anybody else will. And that's so important. And um, like I said, if you're, if you keep saying, I can't do that, I can't sign a distributor. Every person that talks to me doesn't want to join my team. Nobody wants to join my team. Nobody's going to join, join your team. If you have that, I swear it comes out in your conversations. I don't know how it works. But if you have a negative mindset, a day when I have a negative mindset and I'm like, no one's ordering, no one's joining my team, literally no one does. They all tell me no. When I have a positive attitude and I'm like ready to go and I'm on fire, everybody joins my team and everybody orders because they can feel it through your conversations, whether you're texting it, whether you're voice messaging it, like they can feel the energy that you're putting out there in your posts, everything. Um, that confidence is so, so, so key. And if you don't have that confidence yet, if you're like, I just joined and I'm not really sure if people are going to want to join my team. I'm not really sure if I can do this business. Borrow it from somebody else. I swear half my confidence in the beginning came from watching YouTube videos of top leaders. And they were like, so gung ho and like all this stuff. And we're going to do this and that and that. And I was like, if they have just like in the beginning when I joined, if they have that much confidence, like I can believe in it a little bit enough for me to put that out there and show that to other people. So have that confidence. Um, if you need to borrow it from your leader, borrow it from your leader. If you need to borrow it from top leaders, like go watch those things and let them fill you up. Because when you feel, when you're getting poured into, you're going to have that confidence um, when you talk to people. And that's so important. Um, before I go any further, Jalen, do you want to talk about adding and how important that is just from the start? Sure thing. So I struggled with this big time and a lot of my DTs will come to me too and just say that they're not getting the right people. They're not finding any DTs. Their posts aren't working. Nobody's commenting and all of that. And if you feel that, believe me, I've been there. Um, but something that like really helped was when I got on a Zoom call with Kayla and she said that, you know, her tips for adding to her network are going to like boutiques or for me, I go to sorority um, pages because I was in a sorority and I'll go to the sorority page and like follow all of them. Um, and that's really helped me, but it's really important that you're adding the right people. So obviously don't add like 50 year old men if you're gonna want DTs because more than likely, they're not gonna hit you up for that. They're probably gonna talk to you about other things and nobody wants that. So make sure you're friending the right people. I know on Instagram, um, if I see like a really cute um, baby picture, I'm gonna go like that mom's post. And then I'm going to go to her friends and I'm going to literally friend everybody who liked that picture. Um, because more than likely they're moms too. And more than likely a lot of them are going to want an extra income from home or they're going to want to spend time with their babies. And so it's a good place to find ET. So just make sure you're adding to your network and you're adding the right people to your network. If you're adding five people a day, more than likely you're not going to hit one person every day. Um, you're going to need to add like 50 to a hundred. And I know Facebook caps us at like 500, 5,000 friends, I think. Mm -hmm. So you have to un add some friends, but if they're not commenting on your posts, they're not seeing your posts, it's not helping you anyways. So just make sure you're finding the right people. Um, if you need help or anything like that, don't be afraid to reach out and I'll tell you kind of where to go or give you some tips and tricks and we can go from there. But I just wanted to 
add that in because adding to your network is literally crucial to you finding the right DTs for your business. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> and as far as the $5,000, 5, $5, $5, friends on Facebook, if you're not at 5,000 yet, like that's your goal. Your goal is 5,000. So get there as soon as you can, like keep adding as much as you can, because that's your goal is to have the max amount of people looking at your stuff daily. Because there's some people that will follow you for a year before joining. There are people that will follow you for a month before joining, a week. Some people join the same day, but the more people that you have following you, the more you're going to constantly have people coming back to you asking about that stuff and joining your team. So thank you, Jalen. I appreciate it. Um, also, on the, also on the adding to the network, um, on Instagram, you don't like, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's like my OCD or if it's like something that should be done. I don't know, but you don't want to be that person that's like following 6,000 people and only having like a thousand followers. So like you need to go through your Instagram and like <clears throat> Courtney taught me this. If you go like to, let me see if I can pull it up and you guys can see it. Like if you go, I'm one of those people right now because I have it unfollowed, but like right there, see how I'm like following more people than are following me. But if you go to like who you're following, maybe if it loads and like you click like that, it'll come up with an unfollow. If you want to do that, don't unfollow them, but like go through and find somebody who's like not private. Hold on, let me see if I can find somebody that's not private. See like that and it'll automatically turn blue. So like if they're not following you, unfollow them. Like that, sorry, that was just like something that you told me, Courtney, and I just thought it would be a good. No, yeah, because that makes your page look like you're like businessy or that you're like waiting mm -hmm. for people to follow you, if that makes sense. Like anytime that I see someone do that, I'm like, are they with like a company and they don't know what they're doing because why are they following 10,000 people and only a thousand people want to follow them back? So yeah, I love that. Thank you for adding that. Um, the other thing I want to say before I get into like posting and whatnot is when it comes to signing distributors, do not be desperate. I don't care if you need five DTs before you can even be charted for your promotion and you're stressed out and you're pushing for it. Just have fun with it because if you're desperate and you're begging people to join, they're not going to. Who wants to join someone who's literally desperate for you to join their team and begging them to join their team? They're going to be like, what the heck? Like, this is weird. No, thanks. You know, um, pray about it. Pray that God brings the right people to you as potentials and that the right people join your business. And this is so important because in the beginning, I was that desperate person who was like anybody and everybody, you can all join my team. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your attitude is like. I don't care anything. Just join my team. Cool. Now I'm literally so picky and I'm not saying that like somebody's like, I'm ready to join. I'm like, no, thanks. I don't want you. I don't do that. But in the sense of like the people that give you the runaround every single time or they're negative about it or they're like, oh my gosh, well, do you have to like post every day? I'm like, okay, this probably isn't for you. If you don't want to post ever on your social media, this probably isn't for you. Obviously I explained that you don't have to post six times a day, but does that make sense? Like I'm not desperate for people to join my team. I'm just putting everything out there and I'm, I literally turn people down or I don't respond to people who I 100% do not want on my team because I don't think that they'll be good at this business and I'm not being judgy, but does that make sense? Like I know some of you have talked to those people who you're probably would not be your first pick. If you could choose anybody on your social media to join your team, that person would be last on the list. Does that make sense? Like don't be desperate for everybody to join your team. Pray for those people and look for those people who you're like, I would love to have her on my team. And work and follow up with that person and be genuine with them and voice message them and be passionate with them and share your belief, like pour that belief into them. But don't just want everybody to join your team. I don't want everybody to join my team. I, I, if there was a thousand people who said, I want to join your team right now, I probably, I don't want all of them. I want the people who are serious and hardworking and that truly need this business, not just the people that join and expect to get rich overnight and are mad when they don't because that's not what this is and I'm very very blunt and honest with people when they say stuff like that like well can I really make a full-time income I'm like yes you can build up to that but no in your first month are you going to make thousands of dollars no it's going to take work it's going to take building that income month after month to build up to that is it going to be worth it and are you going to be able to make that in you know six months yes you can do that you know, like be honest with them. Don't be like, oh my gosh, no, you only have to post like once and post on your story a little bit. And that's basically it. And then like customers order on your website and that's it. 
don't make it sound easier than it is because that's why people are joining your team and then not working because you told them that they don't have to work. You made it sound like it's just easy. You join and you get rich. So I'm going to get off of that rampage that I'm going on. Um, but the first thing, the first important thing when it comes to like action, what should you be doing to attract these DTs? Posting. If you're not posting consistently about the business, you're never going to have distributors join. And I always say like, whatever you put out there is what you're going to get back. If I'm only posting about customers, I'm only going to get customers. If I'm only posting about the business, I'm only going to have distributors join my team. I'm not going to have any customers. You have to be doing both all of the time and doing more of what you need. So if right now you really, really, really want to go Ruby, but you have zero distributors, you're, you should be like posting about the business 75% and 25% about the customers because you could have a million customers. Okay. Not a million, whatever. You could have a thousand customers under, under you and zero distributors and you're never going to hit Ruby. So you need to switch your focus and work on those distributors. Still post about the product because you still want customers, but post more about the business because that's what you need right now. And as you're doing more of that, you're going to get more potentials, which is a higher percentage that you're going to get people to join your team. Um, and so it's like, it's a numbers game. The more that you're doing, the more that you're going to get. It's just like, if you only talk to two people a day about products, you're probably not going to have a customer join to sign up today. But if I'm talking to 30 people about the products today from host to post, I'm probably going to have a couple customers sign up today because I'm putting in that work and I have those higher numbers. So it's going to create higher result as well. Um, so posting is so, impor so important. Um, so there's like different kinds of posts to make it about the business. Because if I'm like, okay, post two or three times today about the business, you're probably like, okay, what the heck do I post? So there's different types of business posts that I do, lifestyle posts. So this is like the other day um, we ran and got some paint and stuff to do some house stuff, whatever. We ran to town to do that. And while we were doing that, I was in the car working. So I could say, oh my gosh, we're running some errands, doing some things. And in the car, like, have you guys ever seen my post? It's like in the car, normally I would get paid before I joined this business, I would get paid zero dollars to scroll my social media while I'm in the car. But now that's a time where I could work my business and I'm earning an extra income while literally working my business from the car. Like that's a lifestyle post. You're showing what are you doing that day? How are you working this business into your lifestyle? And then a call to action. Make sure you're putting a call to action at every, one, every single one of your posts that involves like something about the business or the products. If it's just like an inspirational post or something, you don't have to do that. But at the end of that post, I would say, if you're looking for an extra income, comment or message me more for more info. So that's one type of post is a lifestyle post. And it's literally so simple. Wake up and say, okay, what am I doing today? Okay, I'm going to tell people what I'm doing because people want to get to know you. They want to join somebody who they know and they're friends with. So think about those people. Like there's literally people on my feed that I have no idea who they are, but I see them post about like their job. I see them post about their kids and their family. And I like literally feel like I know this person, even though I have no idea who they are. They live like 12 hours away from me, like all these things, but I know, I feel like I know them. And if they walked up to me, I would know who they are. I would know their kids' names, like all those things. People want to know that about you before they're going to feel comfortable enough to even ask you about info to join your team. They're not going to join somebody who is like a complete stranger. They want to feel like they know you. So if you're doing all those things, like I guarantee if people, people that are following me know that we just bought a house, they know that we're doing like a ton of like painting and crap and I ask for decoration ideas all the time. They know that um, I'm 22 years old. They know that I'm engaged. They know that, you know, we're planning a wedding, like all these things. They know all those things because I talk about them all the time in my feed, like into my post. So um, that's so important too. The second, th the other thing I want to say, this isn't the second thing. That's just the thing to say. The other thing I want to say, and I want to say this very loud and clear is stop stealing other people's posts especially their like business posts because it's not written from your heart. It's written from their heart. And if you're copying and pasting somebody's post who they say um, something super heartfelt, like, Oh my gosh, I was thinking today and I'm so thankful for this business and blah, 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 blah. And they're pouring their heart out to their followers. That's not you. That's not your heart. That's not how you feel. That's not your thoughts and your feelings. So, um, if they join you, they're not even joined. That, those weren't your words, if that makes sense. Like they want to get to know you. You don't have to try to be somebody else or steal somebody else's stuff to get that. Yes, you can take 
people's posts and like get inspiration from them or like take someone's post and like delete some paragraphs and add in some stuff and whatever but quit like copying and pasting because it's so weird because it doesn't sound like you either like if i copy and paste someone's post that they're talking about i don't even know like words that i don't use or like things that i never say somebody's probably going to read it and be like that's weird like she doesn't use that many emojis and this one has like a lot of emojis and she she says the word babe all the time and she calls people like you know like all these nicknames and like stuff like that like they're going to be like who is this like this is so weird none of her posts go together because it's not you if that makes sense so something that i would recommend so for me every single night you'll see me post a business post that tells my story in a different way and i'll talk about how to do that but obviously like every single night i am not like in my field like oh my gosh i'm so thankful for this business like it's helped me do this this and this like i'm not like that every day like i don't feel like that every night but i do feel like that in the mornings the mornings is like my quiet time like the mornings are like if i could have a morning like that lasts all day long i would be like living the life of my dreams like i love mornings so that's my time to like sit and drink my coffee and like think about life and like have my inspirational moments and that's when i listen to my self-development so I'm like in my field. So that's when I write my posts. I might post them at night, but I'm writing them when I have those feelings. And like the other night I was driving and I'm probably gonna post this post tonight. So you're probably gonna see it. But I was literally driving home and I was listening to a song and it like resonated with me. And I was like having all the feels and I literally took out my phone and clicked the like voice to text. And I was like sitting there writing a post, like voice, voicing it out to my phone and it was typing it out for me. And then I'm gonna go back and edit it tonight and post it because I was in my feels and I was thinking all these thoughts and I was like, I have to share this. So I'm just gonna write it right now. And also you'll see me reuse posts from like, I might've made a post last year about putting gas in my car and how thankful I am. Like reuse those posts. Like you can recycle your posts. You don't have to like be in your feels every single day and write something brand new. Um, but as for like writing posts, so those would be like my business posts. So I said like lifestyle posts, that's like, what are you doing? How are you working in your business? And then there's like business posts. That's like telling your story, right? So you might be like, okay, like I have one story, but you have like so many different stories that you can tell in so many different ways. Um, and so like right now I want you to like get out a piece of paper, or get out your phone or something and write down, like, like write down like five to 10 different things that this business has done for you paid it can be a tank of gas it can be a bag of groceries it can be online shopping maybe you bought a cute shirt or some shorts or whatever maybe you i don't know paid for um you and your spouse to go out to eat maybe you you know any literally anything write down those things list them out and it can be big small it can be maybe this business just gave you hope that someday you'll be able to quit your job and stay at home with your kids. Maybe this business gave you hope for, you know, that someday you won't have student loans or you'll be able to get out of debt or whatever, like write down those different things. Um, I'm going to give a few seconds to do that and I'm going to catch my breath. Okay, if you're still writing, you can still write. But all every single one of those things that you put on that list is a different post that you can make about your story about this business. You'll see me post about just gas money. How I used to pull up to the gas station literally with a knot in my stomach, like felt like I was gonna throw up, like felt nauseous because I would have to fill up my tank and I would only fill it up halfway because I didn't wanna spend the $30 to fill up my tank which sounds literally crazy now i'm like that was so stupid but that's how tight money was and i was stressed and i was trying to save for college and i didn't want to spend that much on gas and now i'm so thankful that i don't have to do that i literally pull up to the gas station and i swipe my card and i don't think twice about it you know like that's one post i talk about groceries i'm so thankful that i can literally put anything in my cart and i don't have to put stuff back i don't have to check my bank account i don't have to stress out if the bill is two hundred dollars three hundred dollars whatever I just get I just get to do it and I don't have to stress about it like I live that life of freedom and even if it's not completely like that you could say I'm so thankful that this business is cover, going going to cover 
all of my groceries for the month as a family of whatever. You can say that it's going to do that. It doesn't have to do that yet, but say what your goals are. Um, it can be every single one of those little things. I talk about how um, I paid for college. Um, you could say how you want to do that. You could say um, even like books, guys. Like when I first joined, I'm pretty sure I said like this business already paid for my books or whatever for college. So it can be little things. And honestly, people connect with the little things more than the big things. If you go diamond this month and you earn the $15,000 bonus, that's great. Post about it. But do you know how many people would see that? Like, I just joined $15,000. They would think that's cool and they might be attracted to that. But a lot of people would probably be like, oh, well, I could never do that. That's, that's too big for people to grasp. That might even be too big for some of you to grasp. The fact that you would actually have $15,000 in your bank account. Some people can't grasp that. So talking about the little things where it's like rent, groceries, gas, like those are the things that are going to make people be like, oh, maybe I could cover my gas money. Maybe I could cover, cover my groceries. With students. The little things is what's going to actually make them interested to actually join. So those type of posts too. Um, and always do a call to action at the end so that they message you the word join, message you the word more, opportunity, whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, use photos of you. Use photos of you. I don't care if you have to go do a photo session and change your shirt 15 times in one day to get some photos of you or get a ring light like me and Jalen have. And we literally, do you have a ring light or do you just set your phone up? You can't hear me. I have a tripod. Yeah, uh, yeah. It still works perfectly yeah. fine. So literally, we literally set up our tripods and take, if you ever see a picture of me like not holding my phone, so like at my desk or something or whatever, I took my own photo with my tripod and it was the best thing ever. And I can do it at any time of day, like super quick. Or sometimes Riley takes it, but it's fine. Um, but do that. Even if you can't do it every single day, if you don't want to get ready every single day or you don't want it, whatever, just take a million photos in one day and then use them all. But make it photos of you because people want to see you. If they don't see your face with the post, they're not going to connect that they know you. They might read your post, but if it's just like an inspirational post picture or like no picture at all, they're not going to feel like, oh, I know her because all they did was read your post. They can't even see your face and know who you are. So make sure to post pictures of you. Um, they can be pictures with your family, pictures with your boyfriend, spouse, dogs, whatever it is. Um, make sure it's pictures of you so that they can get to know you. Um, and try to avoid like snap filters, like like the dog filter and stuff. Like do like actual like pictures Snapchat of you. Snapchat filters. <laughs> yeah, make them look professional. They don't have to look like super edited or anything, but make them look professional. Like make sure they're not like super grainy, like they're light and bright. If you have to get a preset off of Etsy, that's what I do. And I literally take a picture, pop it into the Lightroom app with my preset, put my preset on it and I'm good to go. That's all I do. Like it's so simple. So get yourself a preset because it's the best thing ever. Um, maybe I'll do a team giveaway for a tripod ring light because they're literally the best. Um, okay, let's talk about stories. Um, Maggie, do you want to give your tip about what you're doing for stories? And then I'll talk about like what to post on your stories. Yeah. Um, so I have been looking at who is watching my stories on a regular basis um, and then messaging those people um, about the business because obviously they're paying attention to you and they are like following through so it's not like the people that like look at like a couple things it's the people that look at like every single thing you posted on your story that day um and like they you know hours apart and they're still like gosh yeah let me go back and relook at that girl's story again um and they're still looking so um and that's been really successful to get potentials and people you know, they, they really like you already because they're following you. And so they're not like thrown off by you sending them a message. They're not like, oh my God, I don't want to hear from this girl because they actually like looking at your face or your products or whatever. So you said that there are people that like look at all of your stories. How do you know? Like, do you just go to the last story you posted that day? Um, so I just go to, so like, if you like go into the story and you like scroll, up and you can see like everyone that's viewed the mm -hmm. story. Um, I just go to the first story that is still open 
and then like scroll through all of them and see like what names stay the same. Okay. So you're just yeah. like uh, names that you see every single time or whatever. Right. That yeah. stick out to you. And then yeah. what message are you sending? Send us your, or read your message that you said. Um, let's see here. I know one that I sent today was like, um, hey, I know we've never talked about the business before, but um, during this crazy season, like it's, everybody's strapped for cash. And I just wanted to know if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how I make an extra income. And I mean, it's like literally that simple. And then people are like, yes or no, <laughs> or oh don't God. respond. I love it. How many people did you message that today? Um, about 20. Cause you guys, she just started this today and she signed a DT from it. And she's it. on the zoom. Oh my gosh. Where are you? Wave. wave. Oh, I see you. Hi. <laughs> welcome to our team. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. You're like, I just joined. <laughs> she's giving the tip that just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unlocking the secrets. <laughs> I love it. And honestly, that's such a good tip because, and that's such a good example because like, why did you join? Did you join from somebody posting over and over and over again? Then why aren't you posting it over and over and over again about your story? That's why you joined was because you kept seeing them post about it. If you joined because you kept seeing someone's stories over and over again and of them telling their story, why aren't you making your own stories telling your story? Like, why are you not doing what literally got you to join? Like, that's why people want to join. So I love that. Thank you for that tip. I love it. And you bet. She signed a DT today and she's making it happen. And money moves this month. They're happening. So, um, where was I going? Oh, stories. Like what to post on your story. So there's different kinds of posts that you can post on your stories. Obviously there's like generic ones. So the ones that are like, I don't even know if I can find one really quick. Um, you guys probably know what I mean by like generic. Whereas like if I posted this like about the business, you could screenshot it and use it because it doesn't have my pictures on it. It doesn't have like my story on it. It's just talking about the business. Like if you could earn an extra income, like if you could, you know, all of those type of things, like talking about the business, making an extra income, all of those type of things without my, here's one. This was when it was like $50 to join. But it just says like, um, I'm a search for influencer. Forty nine dollars to join whatever. And then it like has all these perks. Like it says, like, must be 18, have a smartphone, be willing to grow, perks, work in your free time, no pay cap, eligible for weekly bonuses, shopping spree, all that kind of stuff. And it says, DM me discount for info. So that would be like a generic post. Like you could screenshot that and use it if I posted it, right? But then there's like story posts. So, um, like, here's one. So this is where, um, actually, this is a good example because there's ones that are just like talking about this is people to join my team, but it has my pictures on it. It's me. They can see me. So it says like position is open, who's looking for next year or whatever amount of income you want. And then it talks about, I can't read it, all from your own time from your social media. Um, this is the same opportunity to make money and be a great college student, being a debt free and the same. Hey Court, we can't hear you. We can hear you. It's just when you put the phone yeah. up. <laughs> it like blocks your. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, basically, I'm just like, okay, so it took me from a broke college student being able to pay for college at cash, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you're who's interested in earning a thousand dollars a month, this is me, whatever, opportunity. So it's basically telling, it's not really telling my story. It's just saying like, here's what the opportunity can do for you. Here's the opportunity. Like, are you interested? And then there's actual like story posts. And here's my recommendation. If you're like, I don't know how to create a story. I don't know what words to use. First of all, literally use your pictures. If you want to use the same picture every time, use it every time, but put different photos on it every single time or different words on it every single time. And something that's super simple is use one of your posts. If you're going to write a story post, like for one of those things that you listed out earlier, gas money, whatever, make it into a story. Like take the different little paragraphs and little glimpses and make them into a like story on over. And I have, I have a training that talks about how to use the over app. Um, but like, for example, I'll like read part of this one. So this literally, if I read this out loud to you, it would sound like a story post. Hey y'all, thanks so much for following along my story. My name is Courtney. I'm a small town Kansas girl, fiance, and I love to travel. I love to travel. 
a few years ago, girl, I, a few, I can't talk. A few years ago, I saw a girl on Instagram who was building a business through her social media. I was skeptical, but kept wondering if I could change my life too. I was a broke college student struggling to make ends meet. I joined in hopes of making an extra $200 a month to help me not feel so strapped. Little did I know that God had bigger plans. The reason I share this is because I know what it's like to struggle, feeling like you're drowning in bills, being so stressed out about making ends meet, not knowing how to change it, blah, blah, blah. Like, it sounds like I'm literally writing a story post. It's probably because I got it from a story post that I made, and I just made it into stories to tell my story. It's super simple. Um, and you can even do it where you, like, literally, like, post maybe I post a picture on as my post and then I go put that same picture on my story and just type on the Instagram app, like little, little glimpses, like as you click through. So Dalen, are you going to share something? I can't remember to unmute myself. <laughs> You're good. Examples if you can see them, you just change the words at the bottom and I can send these templates too. And like the presidential chat and then your leaders can send them to you as well. But you don't necessarily have to change the photo every time you can if you want though. And I'll post them to my story now. So if you want to go look at it and then DM me, I can send them to you that way too. Whatever works. Yeah. And on the over app, there's actually templates too. Like you can literally go and there's templates where you can like scroll through and like choose one of the templates that they already have laid out and literally put your pictures in there, put the words in there and you're going to go save it and post it on your story. And you can reuse those too. Like you might see me post a story post two weeks ago and then I'm going to post the same one today because it was two weeks ago. There's different people following you all the time, especially if you're adding to your network like you should be. There's always going to be new people on your page. So, and not everyone sees the same post. Not 5,000 of my Facebook friends see my story every time, but somebody who didn't see it two weeks ago might see it today. So I'm always posting recycling those um okay so that is that and then another thing that i do for distributors um to get more potentials because that's the goal right to get more potentials those are the more people that are going to be interested in doing the business um so i do host a post on instagram so if you don't know what host post is basically it's having somebody else make a post for you and then you're tapping into their network so i might not be friends with sally's friends but she might post a post for me and then her friend is interested and then they join. It's the same thing as what we do with products too. Um, so on, I do it on Instagram. So what I do is I'll just go to my followers and I'll click through and message people from my followers list and I can read you the messages I send. Um, I just send, hey girl, super random. Um, would you post something on your Insta story for me in, a, in exchange for an entry into a giveaway for $100 cash I'm doing this month? Winner will be drawn on the 15th. Super easy. I'd so appreciate your support. So then they say yes. And then I say, you're the best. Just save this to your phone and post it to your story and mention slash tag my name in the black box to get your entry. So this is what mine looks like. And I send them that picture. So they're going to save that picture to their phone and then post that picture on their story. And then they're going to tag my name right here. So when their people are clicking through their stories, it's going to pop my name up right there and it's going to be like highlighted. So when they click on my name that they tagged me, it's going to take them straight to my page. So then it says message opportunity to at Courtney D. Williams Instagram for info. So they're going to click on that and literally message me opportunity. And when I'm doing this consistently, my goal is to get like five to 10 people to post this on Instagram for me daily on their stories. I always have like, for example, look, there's a girl right there that says opportunity in my inbox. And then I always have like requests because I don't follow them and they don't, or yeah, I don't follow them, but they're in my request folder because they saw my Instagram story or that person that posted for me and they're messaging me opportunity. Um, so that's something else that I do. And, and if anybody has any questions about that, can you put them in the chat and I will cover that. I don't want to be confusing, but it's super simple. And then once they post for me, it tells me, like it says, so-and-so mentioned you on their story. And then I just put their name into my giveaway drawing. Um, so that's how this post works. So that will get you more potentials too and help you tap into more networks. So even if you only have 400 followers on Instagram, if you're doing host to post on Instagram for that, more people, more than 400 people are seeing that. Thousands of people are seeing it because you're having different people. You know, the person that posted for me might have, let me look how many friends she or how many followers she has. The person that posted that story for me, one of these people has 1,400 Instagram followers. So 1,400 people are seeing her, or 
who however many like actually look at her story are seeing my Instagram DT story just from her posting it for me. Um, so that's post to post. And um, so I message people for that every day and make sure if you're doing the whole, like what Maggie said, she messaged 20 people today. She didn't just message one. She didn't message two or three or five. She messaged 20. And for Instagram, for host to post, I literally message probably like 50 people a day asking them to do it for me. And I, that's my goal is to get 10 people a day. So I at least have to message 50 people to get that. Um, so that is host to post. And then obviously the next thing you're probably like, okay, cool. Now, once I have these potentials, like what the heck do I say to them? How do I steal the deal? So as for the conversation, like mine is so simple, so simple. It's the same for every single person until I get to a certain point. So for example, and if you need these, we can put them in like team chats and stuff like that. So you guys have the wording. But for example, if somebody messaged me um, opportunity, so someone just messaged me opportunity, I have them saved in my text replacements. If you're not utilizing text replacements, just a random tip, text replacements are like the best thing ever. If you don't know what that is, I literally, so my first one is, so I have different like glimpses that talk about the business. So somebody messaged me opportunity, I'm gonna type biz one. So all I typed was biz one and then it comes up here in the middle and there's my whole text replacement. So like when I'm replying to people every day, like when some of you send me a screenshot and you're like, what do I say to this person who said the opportunity? I literally type this one and send it to you. That's what I sent. Like it's so simple, it takes me two seconds. So if you're stressed out or don't have very much time to respond, this will make your life easier. Um, so the first message I send, so they say opportunity. I say, hey girl, I would love to send you some more info about the opportunity. What do you currently do? College student, work from work full time, part time, etc. So I wanna know what they do, I wanna get to know them. So then they say, I am a college student. So then my next message is, perfect. I love how you can work this business into any schedule to help you earn an extra income while still having your, or while still, if they have a job, it's, I say, while still having your regular job. If they go to college, I say, while still going to college um, or going to school. And then I say, do you mind if I send you a video that explains more? They all say yes. So then I send them the first video. I say, perfect, here's the first video that explains what I do. Let me know when you're finished and I'll send you the last one. In this video, you guys can all use it. It's not just like mine, me and Aaron, me and Aaron Tweed created it. No, this one is, this one's Kayla, right? Yeah, me and Kayla created this one. It's me and Kayla, which is our, my leader, um, created this and it basically just talks about the business. It explains everything about the business so that you guys don't have to like be confused about how to tell people about the business. This video does everything for that. And I love it for that reason, for two reasons. Because when they click on the video, they, they see us, they see real people talking and um, we explain everything like to them, if that makes sense. It would be like if someone was standing in front of them explaining the business to them. It's not somebody voice messaging where they can't see your face. It's not text it out like they can literally see and hear it at the same time and I feel like that creates a connection and so that's the first video and then they say okay I finished the first one I send them the second video um, that basically talks about how to join so it's going to say it's $99 to join it's going to talk about what you're going to get it's not going to talk about all those things and then they usually say like after that they usually say either I'm ready to get started now or I have some questions or I don't have the $99 to join, or they just say, I finished, I finished the video. So from there, that's where I voice message them the entire time, the entire time. Because normally once you get to this point in the, in the um, conversation, it's about their questions, their concerns, they don't have the $99, like all of those things. So I wanna make sure that I'm explaining everything to them. I'm not just texting back and being like, whatever. I'm like voice messaging them. So for example, if somebody says, I don't have the $99 to join, I would voice message back and be like, oh my gosh, girl, I completely understand. When I first joined, I was a broke college student too. So I totally get it. And I'm so excited to help you with this opportunity to help you earn an extra income to get out of that situation. I totally get that you don't have it right now, but when's the better time to check back? So I'm already saying that like, you're going to join and I'm going to help you get out of being broke. But when are you going to join? When's the better time? So I'm already putting it in their head that like, oh, I'm going to join this business. I just have to figure out how to get the money or something else that you can even give them is like ideas. You can say like, I totally get it. Some, sometimes what people do to get the money to join when they really don't have it, because I completely get that, 
is like sell clothes on marketplace. Like I've had people um, like literally like sell a TV before that they don't use. Um, let's see, like there's like, there's so many different things. Like, I don't even know. I can't think of them right now, but I actually have a message that talks about all them. Um, but there's something that I learned and I heard this on a zoom. And ever since I heard it, I think about it literally every day in my business is that you have a response to every single objection. Every single thing that somebody says, you have a response to it. You can overcome it. It doesn't matter what they say. You can overcome it. People tell me negative things about the products. People tell me that our business is a pyramid scheme. Like I have a response for everything. Like if you guys want, like if you guys have a question, like I literally have a response for everything because I'm so confident in our business and our products that I literally am like so confident when I respond to. And I feel like, like we talked about in the beginning, that comes from mindset and being confident. But like, I don't even know. You guys can put it like, Put in the chat right now something that you someone always says to you when they're like when you're talking to distributors so if you say like people always say they don't have the 99 dollars or people always say that they're too scared or people always say that blah, blah blah right like your people always say like in the comments and i'm gonna like help you guys with the responses but um that's basically the conversation that i go with and then i'm voice messaging them throughout the whole entire thing so for example people will ask questions about like I'm just nervous. I've never done this before. I don't have experience. Like I'm literally voice messaging them saying, Oh my gosh, I totally get it. When I first joined, I was so scared and nervous too. Like I'd never done anything like this, but that's normal. Like you're going to be nervous at every single new thing that you do. Every time you start a new job, you're going to be nervous. Every time that you start a new school, you're going to be nervous. Every time that you start something new, you're going to be nervous, but that's good because it means that you're excited and you want to do well, you know, like it's true. And so I tell them that and they're like, I, and I say, every single person that joins my team is nervous. It's okay. I was nervous too. It's just a learning experience. And then they feel like somebody that you're connecting with them and they're not like, oh, I'm the only person who's ever nervous. Like, cause they're not, you know what I mean? Um, so that's that. Um, Suzanne said, can't get past the first video. Okay. So this is going to lead into the next thing that I'm talking about is follow-ups. Because every single day, and I'll actually show you my follow-up system. So I have a planner. So say that you talk to, so Maggie messaged 20 people today. How many people responded to you, like, talking about the business? Um, I think six. Okay, so six people responded to her. They're talking about the business. They haven't joined yet, but they're talking about the business. Um, maybe she's still, like, going on with some of the conversations. Maybe three people are, like, texting her back right now. But maybe three people, like, stopped responding. So every single person I talk to that day is going to go on my follow-up list. So for example, here's my like hot mess of a planner. Don't mind me. Here's my planner. So these are all the people that I talk to on Thursday. Products, business, everything. These are all the people. The people who were highlighted in blue are the people I talked to. Um, so then that was Thursday. So then on Friday, I went back to all that, those people on my list on Thursday and I followed up with every single person about the products or the business, whatever they were interested in, just rejogging the conversation. Some of the people got to the point in the conversation where I sent them the first video and they didn't respond. When it comes to videos, especially people like are busy. You guys, people are busy. It's not always you. It's not that they're like, I'm going to ignore this girl. I don't want to talk to her. It's just that people are busy. Like, have you ever opened a message? I do it to you guys all the time. Like, I literally do it to you guys all the time because I forget to respond or I open it. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to message her back when I, like, get back to my phone in a second. And then I forget. It's just a thing, you guys. Like, people are forgetful and people are busy. And so they probably thought, like, oh, I'm at work right now. I'm going to watch that video when I get home. And they either watched it or they forgot, but then they didn't text you back. So then I go back to them the next day and I'm like, hey, girl, did you have a chance to watch that video? And then they either say, yes, I did, or no, I forgot, I'll watch it tonight. And so then I wait, and the next day I'm like, or they either text me and they're like, okay, I'm ready for the second video, or the next day goes by and I'm like, hey girl, like, did you watch that video yet? Like, I literally follow up with them until they get through the conversation. Sometimes it's like one day I send them the first video, then I follow up with them, they finally watch the first video, and then I send them the second video, and then the next day I have to follow up with them to see if they watch the second video. Like, you have to be following up with them because they're going to forget. And you always want to be rejogging the conversation, even if it's something little, like 
um, hey girl, are you still in Like if I send it, if they say opportunity and I send them that first message and they never respond to me, I'm probably just going to say like, hey girl, are you still, are you still interested in earning an extra income? Like they're probably going to be like, oh yeah, I am. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to send you a first, the first video. You know what I mean? Like, and if they ignore me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to move on to people who actually will talk to me about the business. Um, let's see, I keep following up. Like, obviously if they're ignoring you, like if they message me opportunity, I send them the first video and they ignore me and I say, Hey girl, are you still interested in the business or still interested in earning an extra income? I'm not going to follow up with them right away because like you were not even responding to me. But if they got through like the second video and they didn't respond to me, I'm going to be like, Hey girl, did you watch that second video? And if they don't respond to me, I'm going to be like, Hey girl. So I know you were interested in the business. Was there something like, do you have any questions or concerns? Because I can talk you through all of them. Like, I know you're probably scared and nervous, but what questions do you have? And I'll go ahead and answer those. You know what I mean? Like, just like rejogging the conversation. Um, oh, now the comments are coming through. Okay. I answered that one. Follow up, follow up. Okay, I have a pyramid scheme response, you guys. I use the same one every single time. I'm searching it on my Facebook to find my response for that. And here's the thing, when you have messages like that, when someone says like, is this a pyramid scheme? Like I'm literally like, well, I'm gonna send in my message. Like I'm not, it doesn't even like hurt my feelings. Cause I'm like, you're about to find out my message because I have a response for everything. And I'm about to, I'm about to explain it all to you. And it's so funny because my, I don't know why my Facebook won't load today. Is anyone else's Facebook like wigging out or is it just mine? Because at first I was like, I'm about to go buy a new phone because I don't know what's happening, but I can't get any work done. I can send it in our chats, but basically my message, oh, here it is, of course. Okay, so I had this girl say, I keep having family members tell me to be careful that it's not a pyramid scheme, blah, 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 blah. And I said, oh, I said, pyramid schemes are actually illegal. They don't offer products and are shut down by the government. We've been here for 18 years and there are tons of people that I personally know in this business that work this business as a full-time income, including myself. Because normally people who call it a pyramid scheme are like not trying to be rude, but they normally are ignorant and they don't know what that is. They don't even know what that is. They've just heard it. And you guys, pyramid schemes are literally illegal. They don't have products. We have we have products. If you order a product, you get it. Just like if you order something on Target. So I like, I love when people ask me that because I'm like, I have a response for you. Anyways, that's that. Um, does anyone have any more questions? And I'll go over those. Or anybody leaders on here want to unmute yourself and give some tips? I'm down for it. But if anyone doesn't have any questions or tips, we can hop off. Um, just want to go back to the mindset thing. I know it's like an over talked about conversation, but please, please believe in it because it is going to change your whole business. Like guys, literally on the way to work the other day, I started bawling and I messaged my team and I was like, look, I was like, I don't know what it is, but God has plans for us. And I was like, and my mindset lately has just been through the roof. So believe in it. It'll pick up. It might not be right away, but like, it'll get you there and your team is going to literally thrive off of you being positive. So just mindset. It's really important. I love that. Taylin, will you tell your like self-development story, like transformation or can I tell it? Because I can see it with my own eyes, but you can tell your, you can tell it. I'll tell part of it. I'm like, I'm trying to listen to my coach and talk to y'all at the same time, but it's, it's, no, it's totally fine. They're just talking about like how we're going to have to like have two a days at 6 a.m. running like four miles. And I'm just like, I'm going to quit. <laughs> but um, no. So for you that went to conference, I don't know who's all on here. I think it's just you two, you and Jalen that are still on here. But um, if you were, um, if you knew me back in January or like December, I was like one of the most you couldn't really like see it, but I was so negative and like I was so down on myself all the time because I was like, I could never do that. Like I legit 
we had a team like get together in our conference house or whatever and I just like Kayla was talking and I was just sitting there like bawling my eyes out I was like I can never do like I'm gonna take this out of my ear because my coach is (laughs) very loud um but I was just like I could never do what Kayla does I can never do what Courtney does like I can never do what Jenna does and um so everybody left and like Kayla Kayla and JB they were both there and they were like what is like they're like what is wrong like why are you crying so much I was like I just don't think I can do it and they're like no you can you wouldn't be here if you couldn't do it like I'm gonna be 100 like I honestly I didn't even pay like up front to go to conference like there's another girl on our team Carly she literally paid for like my plane ticket and everything like she was like you got to get there because she went to green carpet she's like you have to get there and so I wouldn't even have gone to conference like but I'm just telling you now like conference isn't until January but you need to go like you you need to go but so I was sitting there talking to Courtney and my mind is like everywhere right now but she was like she told me that like just comparison you cannot compare yourself to other people because you are not them like I even yesterday like I was texting Courtney and like I was just like I'm getting so mad like not at like you guys but like in our presidential chat every time I see a boom I'm like oh my god I'm so mad why are they getting customers and I'm not like why are they signing DTs and I'm not and then as soon as that thought goes through my head I'm like Taylor you're not them like you can't do the same things that they do because you're not them like I don't know that didn't come out right I'm just like, I can't talk right now. (laughs) I'm just like, I can't talk right now. I just like, I don't know. Books, y'all. Read books. I'm not even joking. Okay, but you have to say that. The other part, like, what are you like now? (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Um, I honestly, like, back in January, I would not talk in our group chats, like, at all. Like, I wouldn't send any messages nothing and now you guys see me like I'm sending motivational stuff all the time like if I find a quote I send it like I want you guys to see the same things that I'm seeing and like I want you guys to realize how important self-development is because I am not the same person that I was three months ago like I am I have changed 100 (laughs) percent sorry that was like everywhere I don't Comparison can be your worst enemy, y'all. Do not let it take over because it does yes. too. And don't let it do that to you. I promise it's not worth it. Well, and something, Taylor, though, I remember you saying that like at conference when I was talking to you is I remember you saying like, I just don't feel worthy. And like, it literally still makes me want to ball that like some of you on here probably feel that same exact thing and I'm probably going to cry. But like, you all are just as worthy as anybody else. Everybody in this business, Ambassador Diamond, started at day one. If it's, you know what I mean? Like everybody has a day one and everybody has different chapters. There's people on Zooms there that like said like, I'm the ambassador in seven months. And I'm like, what the heck? Like I've been in the business for three years. Why am I not ambassador? You can't do that. If you think that you have to snap yourself out of it and get rid of that thought because it's not true. And those thoughts don't come from God. God doesn't give you those thoughts of unworthiness. Like you're already worthy. And you guys, the transformation of Taylin going from what she was before she started reading all the books and doing all the self-development was like, first of all, your mindset has like increased, but your enrollments have increased and she's promoted twice since conference. And last month she, like there was a point, like literally from the beginning of the month, what, what day did you even hit Ruby? The 17th? Mm-hmm. I like remember that number for some reason. The 17th of the month, she could have hit it on the 30th, but she was literally pushing for that promotion. And the tail that I knew, knew before conference would not have done that. But the self-development makes you believe in yourself like you should anyways, but we're not because we're human. But when you constantly have those words pouring into yourself, And those voices pouring into yourself, actually believing in yourself and making you feel that way, like you're going to go do more than you would if you're sitting there talking to yourself out of everything. 
it like literally blows my mind. Um, but yeah, okay. If anyone else wants to say anything, I'm gonna give like five seconds to make a move. Cause we're going on like an hour here. Raquel had a question and it's oh. what if you ask if it's an MLM? Um, I would say, I don't, people don't ask me that, so I don't have a response for that, but I can create one. Um, but I would probably just say like, because what people are talking about when they ask that is like multi-level marketing, they're thinking of it like a pyramid. So that's why they ask that. And so I would probably give like either the, the message that I just said, or I would just explain like the business here, actually, here's what I said, because I think I had a girl ask this. I voice messaged back and I said, our business is built on helping people with two things helping people with the products, so helping people become customers, and helping people um, join the business and make an extra income, just like I do. Because if I'm in this business making an extra income, and this business has done so much for me, I want to share it with other people. So I'm gonna help people join the business, and I love the products, and so I'm gonna help people with the products too. That's all I say. I just say our business is built on those two things, helping people join the business, helping people with their customers. Um, but yeah, super simple. And I think the less you overcomplicate it and the more just confidence that you have in it. Um, so for example, if someone says like, how much is it to join? Which those videos tell it for you. So you don't even have to tell them how much it is to join because the videos do that for you. So we're doing that for you. But if you get that and you're like, there's such a difference between like, if someone asks me how much it is, I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, girl, it's only $99 to join. With that, you're literally going to get seven Skinny Burst Sampler Packs. You can make $140 right off the bat by selling each sample pack for $20. So you're literally, literally getting more products than you're even paying for. And you're building your monthly income at the same time. And you're going to earn $150 shopping free in your first month. If you heard that, you'd probably be like, oh my gosh, that's such a good deal. But if somebody, if, if you asked somebody how much it was to join the business and they were like, well, it's, it's $99 to join, but it's okay. I know it's kind of a lot, but um, if you can't afford it, I understand like a lot of, you know what I mean? Like if you're like, well, it's $99 and you know, like they're going to be like, oh, that's so much money. But if you say it like it is and everything they're getting with it and everything it's doing for you and what it can do for them, you guys, I would have paid like thousands of dollars to start this business from the return it's gotten me. Like it is an investment and use that word, use the word investment because you're not just spending $99 at Target and you're never seeing that $99 again. You're spending that $99 and you're getting so much return on that because you're getting a monthly income month after month after month. Even if they only earn $200 a month, they already made their money back in like, what, month, two months? So like if you explain it like that and explain how important it is and how much it's done for you and how thankful that you are that you spent $99, I've literally told people like, I'm so thankful that I spent $99 because if I wouldn't have, I would still be a broke college student or just graduate, graduated college with tons of student loans, but I'm not because I decided to spend $99 and join this business. So I am going to end it at that so we don't go too much over, but I'm so thankful for you guys popping on, learning all the tips. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in your chats. I'm going to post this recording on our team page so you can ask questions in the comments if you want to do that too, or go to your leader, whatever you need, but we're about to go enroll all the teammates. We're about to hit all the promotions. We're going to do all the things. So I'm so excited for this month because last month was huge, freaking huge. It was our team's biggest month so far this year. So I'm so excited to see that momentum keep going. Use the momentum, you guys. Use the momentum because it's here. People are excited. People are working. People are hitting promotions. People are wanting to lose weight by summer. They're wanting to get healthy. They're wanting to make money. Like, People literally need money right now more than ever. So use that momentum that's happening and use it to your benefit. And don't just let this season go by and not reach your goals because you weren't willing to put in the work for it. Because you're going to hit a point in this year where you're like, dang it, I really could have gone ruby or emerald or diamond or double diamond in the spring, but I just didn't work for it. And I really wish that I would have because that's the worst feeling in the world. Or even by the end of the month, I'm saying, if I would have just worked harder earlier this month, I would be at my promotion by now. I would be making an extra $500 a month. You know what I mean? Like if I asked you like to do this list of things every single day cons consistently and I would pay you $500 at the end of the month, would you do that? Yeah. Or $1,000 a month? Yeah. It's the same simple things over and over again. It's just putting in the work. 
Um, so I love you guys so much. I had fun chatting with all of y'all and seeing your faces. So um, I will post this recording if y'all want to share it with your teams, but I hope you have an awesome night.